morning folks, a bit different from my last post, I'm not vegan today, <laughs> if you haven't watched it I suggest you go watch it, <laughs> I don't think it got the recognition it deserved, although a lot of you did comment and I was very appreciative of that, it was brilliant, it's funny as hell seeing some of your comments, loved it, <laughs> but unfortunately I thought it would have got more views, but hey ho, <laughs> Back to farming, I'm not a chef. <laughs> so I'm mucking out what was our old parlour. Got the dung grab on now, got it all wet, slippery stuff away through the front there. But aye, this was our old parlour. Um, I could just mind it getting used. I was about 12, I think, when we stopped using this parlour. I moved on to the new one up the top. In 2007, we put the new one in. Even then, it was second hand from somewhere in England. Uh, this was an eight aside herringbone parlour. Uh, couldn't tell you how old that was actually, but I know it was a fair age. Ah, oh, stop it. There we go, I'm using that. But, Aye, it was a fair age anyway, so I think Dad was more than happy to get it upgraded when we did. It made a big difference to the speed of the milking anyway. Just in here on the right hand side, that's Dad's rollover crush he's got. So, any coos that needs their feet done, will get sent down this old race. And uh, there's a gate set up here and then they get across into here. It does not feed. Back ends for lifting up with this one, like, it's never came off of the red. <laughs> so, the coos used to come round, so there's two gates there that would come round to there, and then right round, to, and the back of the slats are there. So this was the back of the parlour here, and then the further up we go, it goes into where the parlour was, and then once we stopped milking in here it got um, filled in with rubble, and then some concrete over the top of it so we could put it into straw. Straw pen's handy for the new cab ones. Dad's joined in with the fun, so that means we'll get done a bit quicker. We're actually going to move bucket the stable out as well. And after this one's done, we a busy morning with the pot-ups. <laughs> Guess what, this grab's full of... That's right. A vegan's hopes and dreams. Sorry. A vegan activist's hopes and dreams. A load of dumb. gates and wangle my way in, I'll leave here for it to get this out. So this bit in here used to be the bullpen, before where the bulls used to be separated from the main lot, but that's his rollover crush set up, just opens this gate and lets him in here, and away they go. And then you put them back in the main lot after. That's all the sides forked out now, a lot better. He's just getting the last hit with the bucket. <coughs> Far easier to scrape up with a bucket than a fork. Hey, then the dung grab. So, hey, getting there. Guess it'll be easier to see now. So, down here was the back of the parlour. The gates were there, and uh, so I suppose these two gates would have been round, and there would have been a gate to the wall, at the back. So you'd scrape all the parlour 
Okay, hold a Q shite down the slats up there. And you can just see the rise there. So that's where the fresh concrete got laid. And then the whole of the parlor was in the middle there. It used to be feeders, uh, the H beams that crossed over. The feeding would have been up there. And the feeders were all along the sides of the walls. But that was a while ago. <laughs> right, that's that done and bedded. So now we have to bring a stable ground into this pen and get it mucked out and all. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't take too long because I'm quite hungry. Lunch time's coming. <laughs> This could take oil, there's quite a lot of dung in there. That's the old camp shed on the left. This is the old stable where all the Clyde stables used to be. The floor is still cobblestone, so that's quite nice to see. A wee view of that at the end, I suppose, once it's all mucked out. But you can see some of them there. Amazing the wear that goes into them and that it's not ripping up at all. <laughs> Old shed still in use. <laughs> not its purpose, but it still works. Getting there the now with it. You'll see a daft wee ladder there on the right there, it goes right up to the loft, that's the old hay loft. There the wee 135. Just opposite that, so up, just directly up there. There's a door, and that's where we used to put the escalator, and then you'd fling all the wee bales on it. Put them up, up, up above this, and that was where all the wee square bales of hail are stored at one time but dad minds a lot of them getting stored in the barn that was well before me but I can just mind I can just mind it the escalator going up to that wee bit there through the door it was never up there right enough but that's what used to get done here they come freshly bedded pen for years. Milking just started there, you'd heard the pumps. How much is that dog here in the window? <laughs> Ain't all stone here. There you go, John, there's Feather. <laughs> Today is Monday. Now all the mucking out is done. It's time to bed up. These cubicles are ready to be bedded. All nice, fresh lime. Maybe one day these blue cubicles will be cubicles like the other side but not at the moment <laughs> at the moment I'm just kicking these scrapers to make sure they're going the right way so I can shove them with the scraper tractor this scraper's been sorted the uh, flaps are staying up um, when they go back forward so you have to stand on them to make them work. You know, stand on the flaps to shove them down if they're coming forward. Just need a wee metal plate underneath it to raise the scraper up. And then that'll mean that it'll... Uh, that'll give it enough room to allow it to drop. It's just wear and tear, eh?
Dad can bed this one up first. That scraper should be near enough at the back by the time he's bedded this. So that'll give him plenty of time. Oof. It's a good balance of this dog. Yeah. These guys have all settled down. Happily munching away in the straw. I think they've fed up dancing now. Or maybe not. What are you saying? Right, all I need to give them now is a bale of haylage. Keep, keep them growing, you know. <laughs> keep them fed. Aye. Now that's our idea for a barrier at the end. Just a couple of... Well, a ring feeder split in half. <laughs> Does good enough. Fling a bale in there, the munchy a crunchy. And there's the old cobbles. I think I've said that already, but it's amazing how they're still here. They wear better than the concrete outside. Right, so all that's left to do outside is now scraping up and catching all this dung that's been dropping off the forklifts everywhere. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed that today guys, see you all next time I suppose. <laughs>